Welcome to another edition of Cigar BQ. I'm your host, George Canzaniello, and as always, I have my trusty La Gloria Cubana Siri N Cigar. So, the premise is I light a cigar, and I light the grill, I talk about stuff, and we cook, and that's it. Charcoals. Light of fluid. Today we're having Hamburgers, but not just any hamburger, we're doing sauteed caramelized onion with nicely seasoned 80-20 chopped meat, beef, cheddar cheese, and bacon. So we're going to run the gambit here today on the grill, and we're going to do hot dogs basic, but my kids like hot dogs. Anyway, see you soon. I got my trusty hat because, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs. It's kind of Americana, you know what I mean? I'm back. Back with my hat. Got this at the very popular chain, store chain that has no health insurance. About three years ago. So anyway, I got my cigar here. My La Gloria Cubana in a bun. And I'm gonna lightly toast it. Along with the bread, apparently. <laughs> now turn this, turn it that way, nice. Get a little nice round ridge there. Mm. So, you've never smoked a hot dog this way. Boy, oh boy. You haven't lived. Mm. It's a B on the lens of my camera. Son of a bee. This B is killing me. You're in my shot. Charcoals are ready. I got the griddle nice and hot. And I'm gonna throw some bacon into the griddle. Nice. Come on, pretend you know each other. Stick together, huh? One piece. So, I'm a cigar. I spit while I smoke. I know it sounds disgusting, but anything to decrease my chances of getting any type of oral cancer because, you know, they, people are under the misconception that cigar smoking is healthier than regular cigarettes. They both, done, they both smoke differently, but they, in the end, the trade-off is you can get cancer. Cigar smokers get different types of cancer. And one cigar has enough nicotine that equals one pack of unfiltered cigarettes. That's a lot of nicotine in one stick. So, and again, it depends on the size of cigar you're smoking, but you know, if you use that as a rule of thumb, you know, smoke wisely, all right? You know, I, so I spit. And uh, I just hope, you know, somehow it will allow me to live longer so I can smoke more cigars. You know what I mean? Big head of it. This bacon, she's a cookie. Right, the bacon, I'm gonna put hot dogs on. This is my wife. Takes me to put a hot dog on it. So I'm gonna put one now. I'm gonna kill this goddamn bee too. I love nature, but not on my grill. You know what I mean? You know, they make these wrappers so you can't get in. You know, you gotta be like a professional safe cracker to make a hot dog nowadays. Ridiculous. So, there we go. 
chest son of a so I have my coals kind of spread out but in the center so I have a cool cooler spot around the edge but I'm gonna put the hot dog right up against the grill here here and here this is the pour for now the hell out of here you I'm about to get the uh Rat bastard, I got gotcha. you. You rat bastard. So the, I don't have the griddle's not as hot as the last time. Which is okay. These will cook. As uh, coals get hotter, we'll be rolling along. I'm losing to the daylight here, so, you know, what are you going to do? I'm just going to let that sizzle. All right. Go. Got the bacon nice, ready to come off. Threw on a few hot dogs early. And add some more because I think we have neighbors coming by. And uh, so these are going to be for the bacon cheddar sauteed onion hamburgers on a toasted bun. And then I'm going to saute the onions right inside of this pan here. So I cut up one. I got medium sized onion. I just sprinkle a little vegetable oil around it. Because I didn't know if I was going to use my skillet, if I was going to use the griddle. I'm just going to go with the griddle. Just dump some onions in there. That, fix my tongs, break them up a little bit. I just cut the onion in half and then I sectioned it off. Easy peasy. Now, normally, I mean, you can caramelize onions, you slow cook them over a stove or if you have propane that's great but I'm using coal and my kids are hungry either the entertainment industry starving artists or starve your family and I have to go with I gotta feed the family my career will have to wait and uh, I'm going nowhere fast <laughs> mm. the glory of Urbana end here Cigar barbecue where I light up the grill and I light up a cigar and I am sauteing the onions. And while they cook, I will get a bun for the wife. I need a bigger table. So I don't have a budget for big tables. Although, I could use a folding table, but that might be too massive. So I'm gonna. Grab this beautiful hot dog and put it in this bun. This and the onions cooking beautiful. Move them around a little bit. Turn them around, break them up more. Get the bacon out of here. Look at this. I'm working this grill, babe. Nothing can stop me now except for lightning and an aneurysm. Other than that, thank God. All right, thank God. Let me give this to the wife. These onions are looking pretty good. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call this done. Right? You know, we're not making Salisbury steak, people. You know, we're, good, we're doing hamburgers, but you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, gourmet every time, right? And now the freaking ice cream man's coming by. He could have came by a half hour ago, but my cameras aren't set up. Here we go. Onions to the burgers. I'll set those up for you on camera so you can see what they look like done. There's the onions right here by the bowl. Alright, boys and girls, children of all ages, background. Alright, so. Wait. Okay. I put the insert in. This is the. Uh, Weber Gourmet System. It comes with this insert, removable insert. Take it out and you put it put a block, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna put the burgers on. There goes the ice cream again. What the hell is going on? Put it on. I try and leave it on for a little while so I know it's cooked. And by the time I flip it over, I know that the grating is at, at the temperature I need, the other side's not going to stick. Uh, keep your burgers in the fridge until you're ready to cook them. Keep them as cold as possible. If you let them get to room temperature, 
the fat and the meat starts to melt and your burgers can fall apart on the grill. I'm gonna let this sit a couple of minutes. And I have a question for you. Hebrew National, they only have seven hot dogs in a pack. I've seen some hot dog companies only put six hot dogs in a pack. Hot dog rolls come with eight rolls. Never understood it. Uh, maybe you can help. I don't know. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. That doesn't go sit well with the Italians. Here's the barbecue. We aim to please. Alright. Oof. Uh, this has been sitting for a little bit. I'm going to flip these guys over. It's looking nice. Okay, there's the grill. You see what the spatula sees. Something I haven't seen on television where they have a utensil can. Here's your hot dogs around. Mm-hmm. Very good. So it's also important after you're done cooking your hamburgers to let them rest. Right? Like everything else. Let them reabsorb some of the juices. And don't uh, push on them with a spatula. Try not to squeeze the juice and fat out of them. I know it sounds nice and it smells good and it looks good, right? You're grilling, you're showing off. There's no explosion, Bob. Everybody looks over, ooh, he's a good cook. Don't squish, don't smash him with a spatula for the, uh, just to show off, okay? It's not worth it, because then, when they finally get your food, guess what? They got, uh, this hamburger is dry. I don't know about this guy. I, I, I don't know if I'm ever, I might eat dinner next time before I come here. Hot dog. Done. It's just rolling off here, folks. Look at this one. Nice. Then I get to like uh, a Bruce Banner hot dog. I'm going to turn it to the Hulk. It's all thick and bubbled up. So I babysit my food. I told you that. I babysit the grill. Whoa, look out. Nice. Holy macro frame broil, that's beautiful. Okay, not good. So what I'll do is bring these to the outside. Let those flames dissipate. That means go away. Or in Italian, go away it means something totally different. <laughs> hey Vinny, make him go away. You know what you see where I'm going with that? Alright. Hot dog cooking. Hey, good looking, hot dog cooking. We're gonna flip these over and get done with this. All right, I'm starving. I got sliced cheddar cheese. Put these on the burger. Okay, cherry cheese, done. Look at this guy, he's cooking quick. Wow, get him out of here. Off to the side with you, buddy. This is a hot grill, folks. This one. Can you throw this out while they actually melt this? Mm. Let them melt. What was that? It's a lot of work doing this, but you know what? It's fun. But uh, I could be wrong, but I'm not. Get out of there. Whoop. You lost some cheese. It's okay. Done. Get them out. You know, these hats, they're straw, but they still sweat like an animal. The grill master's life is not an easy one, folks. Look at these burgers. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to toast quick. I wish I had more to cook because there's so many beautiful poles still sitting here. All right. So we got these gorgeous buns and the grill. Stepping hot. All right, we'll let those toast. Mm -mm. Toasted a cigar. Now I'm toasting buns. <laughs> so these buns are looking nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Not bad. Look at that. So we'll put these to the side. And then I'll assemble the burger. I'm going to say goodbye to these coals, and I'm going to say goodbye to you, 
for another episode of Cigar with You. See you next time. We'll grill and tell stories. That's what we do around the grill, right? Cigar smokers are the best storytellers. The burger assembled, and I like barbecue sauce on mine. I don't know what you like, but I can tell you this. It's gonna be good.